Ooh, we'll save that one for last. It does look like there's a good one in there. What's crack lacking? YouTube. I have a massive box of inventory to go through here today. I got this big old box from a guy named Mangoes of Vintage, and I can't remember why he was getting rid of all of his t-shirts, if he was trying to restart his store or if he was moving and had to get rid of them all, but I paid him 150 bucks for whatever's in this box. He said he was sending me around 40 items. I don't know exactly what around 40 items means. Maybe it's 39, maybe it's 41. Honestly, I'm not quite sure, but if it is 40 t-shirts, I paid 150 bucks. So it comes out to be less than $4 a t-shirt. And that is like thrift store prices. So none of this stuff is too crazy, but it is like good store fillers. So if you're on the lookout to start selling t-shirts or selling anything, uh, stuff like this is a good store filler. And I say all of this before I even see what's in the box because I'm hoping it's all good store fillers. Uh, like the video guys a like on my small channel goes a very long way i'm pretty sure you guys all know kind of like how youtube algorithms work but for me only having like a thousand subscribers um there's a big difference between getting 50 likes on a video and getting 75 likes on a video big difference for for small channels so if you like what i got going on here all i'm asking is for a little like i do resell anything and everything i just tend to lean more toward like vintage t-shirts because i personally like collecting the vintage t-shirts but yeah, on this channel you see a little bit of everything, not just vintage. So, in this box I know that most of the t-shirts are Harley t-shirts, and I think he had a couple vintage like destination t-shirts that he threw in on top. Very basic Harley shirt. You're gonna see a lot of basic Harley stuff. So there's one to start it off, and here we go. Well, this isn't even Harley, it's just a motorcycle t-shirt. I've sold just plain motorcycle t-shirts before. Like I said, I'm looking for all these good store filler items here. I took a week off of reselling to go to Colorado, as many of you know. This is a nice green Harley shirt from York, Pennsylvania. But yeah, being gone for a week really kind of puts a slow down to your eBay if you sell on eBay. Um, same thing for Depop though. Here's an all embroidered Harley t-shirt. This one's pretty cool. Got a thick embroidery. So anyway, my sales have been a little slow. I really need to get back into action. And part of getting back into action is listing a lot. So I am glad that I have all these t-shirts that I can throw up and bring some action back to my eBay page. Here's the Harley motorcycles. This is a big, just a big spell out here. This one's probably my favorite one so far. I just like the colors and the graphic on it. Leave a comment down below. If you watch this whole video, um, leave a comment what your favorite one was. I'm gonna pick a favorite through this box as well. Top dead center cycle. This is a long sleeve, nothing crazy. Frank Lombardi, motorcycle t-shirt. Here we got a little hit of a couple cool ones. This one is a, a Las Vegas, it's a lightning eagle. I always love the ones with eagles on them. And then you have the Las Vegas, like, mountainscape in the back. Cityscape, mountainscape, whatever. This one's cool too, this is a bleach dyed one. Oh, dude, this one would have been sick if it wasn't bleached out. It's got that the masked man dang i'm kind of bummed that this one is bleached out <laughs> oh well it's not vintage either that one's from 2012. here you have a harley davidson tank top if you want to show off your guns oh here here you have a real harley davidson tank top spell out and another that's three green tank tops in a row this one is from massachusetts a lot of these are from massachusetts i've been noticing Oh, dang, and we got another tank top. What the heck? This is also from Massachusetts. This one is from 2005. Actually, I have this same Harley tank top, like the same front graphic, but it's an Iowa destination on the back. So I have this, basically the same tank top, but for a different spot. But the Flaming Eagle is a good, like, keyword to use. I love selling that kind of stuff. So you're gonna notice here, not a lot of like crazy cool graphics, but uh, these newer Harley Davidson t-shirts, they're a solid like 15, 20 bucks. And if you're from Leo Minister, Massachusetts, maybe you want the tank top to go with it. And we barely made a dent in this big old box yet. Okay, here's a cool one. This one looks like it's embroidered, but it's actually just a print, screen print. And this one is vintage from 1998. 
pretty vibrant colors on that one. Another tank top. Wow, I hope the tank tops sell. Harley Davidson on the front. This one is from the year 2000. And this one is for Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. That one might do well. The more familiar the destination, the easier a sell. Damn, another tank top. This one's for Hawaii. Kauai, Hawaii. Dang, another tank top. I'm glad it's summertime and I'm glad it's hot as heck outside. Speaking of which, it's July 5th. Everybody needs to rehydrate. Southside Virginia Beach. That's a nice, pretty vibrant blue graphic. You don't see the blue ones that often. So a little tip, if you ever get big stuff like this, in my opinion, you should take the quick nickel rather than the slow dime. So in other words, sell the stuff for cheaper, faster. That way you can like get some of your money back really quickly and uh, be in the green. You always wanna be in the green. Sorry if you guys hear a slurping sound. My dog is sitting right here chewing on a bone. Another tank top, Clearwater, Florida. And I'd say we are probably just now a quarter way through this box. So it's looking good. I'm pretty happy with it. Jeez oh Louise, I've never seen so many Harley tank tops in my life. This one is for Maine. Jeez, another tank. This one is for Cape Cod. It's got the flames on it though. A nice Harley t-shirt will have some flames on it. Another tank top, 2013. This one's for New Hampshire, 2013. So if you're watching this for like tips on how to like start selling t-shirts and stuff, what I usually do when I get a big haul like this is I throw a story sale up on my Instagram, list the stuff for cheap and just try to get it, get it out really quickly before I have to spend time listing it. If it doesn't sell then on the story sale, then I will list it on eBay and Depop, mainly eBay though. And honestly, some of this, I have so many t-shirts here. I might even do like a bulk deal to some of you guys. So if you would be interested in 10, 15, 20 Harley t-shirts, DM me at Bob Dabra on Instagram and maybe we can work out a deal. I would hook you guys up with a box because uh, for one, you're watching a video of mine, which is super cool. And then for two, I'm only into this stuff for about four bucks a shirt. So if I can make a quick flip on some of it. So I will share the wealth with you guys. Here's another one. But yeah, these are pretty solid store fillers. You list them all up on eBay and then you might get like two, two sales a week for the next 20 weeks. They'll just kind of sit around as little fluff and you gotta have some fluff in your store. And Harley t-shirts are great fluff. Oh, this one looks pretty cool. What is this? Brothers to the end. It's just a motorcycle tee. Oh, a NASCAR t-shirt. This is a little tie-dyed NASCAR t-shirt. This isn't vintage, this probably won't sell for that much either, but again, a nice graphic t-shirt is, is, it's solid, man. Put some in your store. It gives people something to look at if they ever come by your Instagram page or your eBay store or your Depop account. It's not the size of the pole, it's how long you wiggle the worm. This shirt's from 1990 though, and it's in pretty darn good condition. Oh, what's this? Pendleton pants? I've never seen something like this. 100% virgin wool Pendleton pants. Well, that's pretty cool. That's a first. Uh, I'm sure Pendleton pants, 100% wool, that's gotta go for some sort of money. So there are a couple different things in here, not just Harley shirts. Uh, this actually kind of looks like a painting, but you got, the, of course, a motorcyclist with a wolf in the background. It's a nice little graphic t-shirt. 15 bucks all day long. Here we have a nice embroidered Harley Davidson shirt. And nice to have different varieties in there. I still don't think I've found a favorite and we're only about halfway through the box still. That's insane. Up next from New Zealand, from overseas, you got a little Harley action. That one's super soft. What's up with that? Here's another one from overseas. This one's from Belize. Comment down below if you've ever been to Belize. Oh, uh, this one, orange. Another Harley graphic. This would have been good for the 4th of July because you got a little flag action on the back. This one should have been for the 4th of July. You got the flame script on the front and then the Washington White House and Eagle and flag on the back. That's a fun one. Actually, that one might be my favorite. Probably my favorite so far. I'll keep it set aside for now. Oh, this looks, this is the same exact one we just pulled out, isn't it? A red one? Is this our first red one? I think so. It's insane how many different like varieties of Harley shirts there are. Oh, this one looks cool too. 
This one has like the stone wash to it, which always makes t-shirts a little bit cooler, in my opinion, from 2003. That's our first shirt from Connecticut. Man, we might have all 50 states in this box. Boston, Massachusetts. Ooh, this is a pocket t-shirt. Nothing but gray on the back. Yeah, 100%. If you guys are watching this and you want some Harley shirts, I'll definitely hook you up with some if you would like to try to sell some. Have these as your store fillers. I know some people are having a very difficult time finding stuff to list because of the virus that's going around. Uh, this is the most simple Harley shirt ever. Just a hit on the pocket, that's it. So yeah, if you're having trouble finding stuff to list, man, hit me up. Honestly, I can do you a box even that's not Harley stuff. I'm pretty proud of myself, actually. I gave out five mystery boxes last week, and I think they were all pretty dang good. Another little Harley shirt. West Palm Beach. I say we're probably 80% done with the box right now. This one's insane, too. The Black Hog Saloon. And on the back, you got a big old graphic. That's pretty gnarly. This is not a Harley shirt, just a motorcycle shirt. Got a pretty cool vintage graphic on it. Another orange one. Man, orange is a shirt color that I'm not very fond of. But here's Ernie's Pub. What else do we got? My dang tripod keeps falling over, people. This looks like a 2XL. This one's from 1991. And there's nothing on the back. What a shame. I'm just waiting to pull like a, a 3D emblem out of here. This one's from Logan, Utah. Logan, Utah. This is a nice big graphic. The big logo is always a solid t-shirt. Got the Leaning Tower of Harley Tees. This one's cool. I like the colorway on this. NH, New Hampshire, I think. Wow, we really have covered the whole United States here, huh? This one's from Geneva, New York. This one has nicer graphics on it than some of them. 2005. Got some people on the back. Some of these t-shirts, if I saw them in a thrift store, uh, I would not pick up even for three, four bucks. Like this one, for example. Like, I might flip this for 10 bucks. Some of them will be around the $10 range even. I don't know, from a thrift store, not necessarily worth it, but buying them in bulk, sometimes you have to, you have to just make the deal happen, you know? Key West, Florida, pretty nice and vibrant one. And my tip of the day though, if you're gonna buy something, just make sure you can sell it or make sure you can do something with the item, even if it doesn't sell. But we've all been there. All resellers have bought something that doesn't end up selling or ends up flopping. It's just part of the gig here. This one's nice Orlando graphic. Jeez, another orange, orange one. This one's from South Carolina. Sportswear, is this vintage? Ooh, we'll save that one for last. It does look like there's a good one in there. Beach Bum Bikers Club. Check out that graphic from the Florida Keys. I'll probably put all these up on a story sale on my Instagram tomorrow. If there's any, any that you want, DM me before then. Here's a downtown one. Here's the second to last one with the big back hit right there. You gotta love a big back hit. And the final t-shirt. Actually not as wild as I first thought it was. I thought it was gonna be vintage. Um, it's one of the newer ones, but it's still got a nice big chest logo. This is the front, and then there you go on the back. This one's from Ohio. And that's it, that's our whole box. That's pretty crazy. It turns out that this is actually 56 pieces that he sent me. And I only spent 150 bucks, so I have $3 into each t-shirt, which is pretty good because I know some of them will probably sell for around the $10 mark. So like I said, I'm gonna go for the quick nickel here. I'm gonna try to do a quick flip on all of these t-shirts. I'm gonna do a story sale on my Instagram. I will list some of them up on my eBay and Depop. And then DM me if you guys want a little bundle deal, a little bulk by yourself. Maybe we can work out a steal of a deal. So. Thank you guys for watching, subscribe. Oh, and before we go, this one was my favorite shirt. The flaming script with Washington DC on the back. It was my favorite. All right, now I'll see you guys on the next one.